Hey, Katie here, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> you're having a lovely day wherever you're at. I've been sleeping, by that I mean I've been in my bed for two days straight essentially and I'm just so tired of it. I am contemplating staying awake all night. It, I usually do vlogs. Today is probably not really a vlog. It's more of like a Foodie Friday video throwback to when I was doing those types of things. It's cool. Okay, anyways, um, what was I talking about? Nope, okay, I don't remember anything at all about what I was saying today, today, was it, was it, was it about being sick? I'm, I'm sick, I complain about staying up all night, even though my nose is still kind of congested and the weather's got my neck aching and I'm just like, <laughs> also this lighting's really harsh. Um... <laughs> okay, that should be a little bit better, I think. I just got a, a weird shadow right here, just on this part of my face. Um... Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're making noodles. I'm finally getting around to making some pasta. Don't feel like buying it. I've got flour. I have eggs. I have at least some sort of oil. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some pasta. The goal is bow tie pasta, honestly, which is a far superior pasta. However, radiatory pasta, oh my gosh, changed my life. Okay, anyways, so I'm using this book right here. I got from Mi madre, um, it's not authentic, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, this is the ingredients that we're going on right now. I have the flour. I weighed it out. It's 16 ounces, two cups of flour. I have the just in case, two tablespoons of water, one to two, two tablespoons of oil. They want olive oil. I believe olive oil is probably going to be what is best for this. However, I don't have any olive oil at the moment. And the point of me making this is so that I don't go out and buy things. So that I use the flour, so that I use the eggs. Uh, so I'm using sunflower oil. I contemplated butter. Then I thought oil. Oil is probably better. Uh, I also have a half a teaspoon of homemade garlic salt, which is just minced up garlic in some Himalayan salt. That's been sitting there, and you shake it every once in a while. It's good. It's good stuff. All right, so let me get you oriented to be able to see what I am doing. Okay, though, but for, like, for real, in all honesty, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so what we're going to do first... By the way, these are room temperature eggs. We're going to dump this flour on a clean surface... This is going to be more pasta than I know what to do with. Okay, so we're just making a nice little volcano. I don't know if it needs to be like the counter in the center or if you can put like some flour down there. You know, I'm going to get you guys a better angle. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to succeed. What we're going to do here is we're going to crack the eggs into the well. Just nice and one at a time. You want to make sure that the sides are like, you know, nice and tall. Because you don't want any of the liquid escaping onto the counter and making a huge, huge mess everywhere. The only thing you're going to need right now is a fork in terms of the utensil, but we're going to put the salt and the olive oil, and we're just lightly whisking, trying not to scrape up the counter. We're, we're going to whisk all of these lovely things together, slowly incorporating the flour into the dough, or the eggs to make a dough. It's a very slow process, but so worth it. Now 
Okay, so once you have it about like here and it's just not forking right, you can scrape all the goodness off of the fork with some extra flour. And we're just gonna knead this together until it forms a dough. And if it just like, if it's too dry, we're gonna add some of the water in there. I'm just kind of folding it in and working it in. The book says to knead it as though it were bread dough once it gets there. But it's definitely going to be a lot thicker. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water. I'm gonna make a well and put like a quarter to a half of what's in there in there. And then we'll just slowly incorporate that in. Now that I have it formed into a ball, I ended up using maybe in total three and a half tablespoons water for my flour, but she is a dough. Uh, anyways, you, you want to knead this like you would, I guess, a bread dough. You know, just like you knead it, you fold it, you turn it. This is definitely not for those with weak wrists like me. But here I am, getting an arm workout in a couple days before arm day. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyways, we're going to do this until it has a little bit of elasticity and it's all like smooth and doesn't have any other stuff. It's getting there, but it's going to take about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh my word! Okay, I've been doing this for 20 minutes. I've added a bit of water. I think this is as smooth as it's going to get. It is very elastic, like if you take it and then it's kind of elastic. I don't know, it's definitely going to be full of gluten. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Here. It's smooth and it pops back, so I'm guessing it's elastic. I am sweating, I need a shower. Anyways, what we're gonna do just take some of this death wrap. I'm going to wrap it up in this and let it sit for anywhere from 15 to 2 hours. I guess that just depends on me and how long my shower is going to be. Um, see you guys then. <laughs> I am back. I have this pot needs to be made. Uh, my soup is starting to boil. I have it on low. I'll turn it up to one. I just added a little bit of water. It's, it's, it was it was simmering down here. This is rested for three hours. Uh, I, did, I did some dishes. Made some more dishes. Had a sandwich. It was very delicious. I took a shower. Then I, I watched some YouTube. And then now we're here. I'm about to roll out some pasta. I need a rolling pin. Not a rolling pin. Okay. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I need flour today. But the dough feels a lot more, lot softer. It's definitely, definitely strong dough. I'm going to take a chunk out of it. Not quite half. It's a good chunk. Much. I just don't want to put 
the center, going towards the middle of the room. And that's all I'm doing. Wow. Just the base left there. Okay, I resorted to hanging a portion of my dough off the side of the corner. And we're just rolling it out. And this is so really helpful. I'm doing some pretty, pretty fresh outs too. But this, this technique does seem to be working for me. Okay, I think this is my last pass. I'm starting to see like the details of my cover like, in terms of pasta. I think it's good enough. Well, I'm not just going to be in the beach. I'm probably just at the floor plate yet. But I'm just going to use this as my guide for a straight line. But, uh, oh, you can't really see that, can you? This, this is what I have, these cute little strips right here. Kind of look like stamps. Um, have have some water. Little one inch pieces. I was gonna use a pizza cutter to like cut these, but I don't own a pizza cutter, so I'm gonna use this and make straight lines. My idea is that I can just down the center and then ah they're still stuck together in the little folds voila I have bow ties <laughs> okay I think this is gonna work I think it's gonna take forever but I'm awake I can do this let's go I'm very excited. I'm not missed that so much did not has not held me over that one bit. Um, as delicious as it was. Anyways, the soup is indeed bubbling. Yum. Soup. Pasta. Pasta meat soup. Oi. Oh my gosh. There's just one. Actually, it's a really cute one, but I'm sorry, little pasta. Get in there. Anyways, I need to stir these real quick before they stick together. Oh, I hope they all stick and stay pasta noodles. This is going to need like five minutes to cook these. Oh my gosh. I've got bow ties in my chicken noodle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's 1 123 right now. So I'm um, very tired. Um, I'll see you guys in just a second. Uh when we eat the pasta. I eat the pasta? Are you making pasta with me? That'd be really cool. Alrighty. I got the soup. This is a very awkward angle for me. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to do this since I started this soup. Like, I don't know. And this is my noodle. And we're gonna try it. Mmm, it has a good bite to it. I need to season the soup. That's good. Mmm, very hot. I wasn't sure whether or not I should make the noodles separate and then put them in. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't. But yeah, that, that those are those are noodles. They're tasty-ish. They go well with the soup. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna clean up, hopefully. <laughs> I am very tired. 
it's now 1 30 in the morning actually and um I'm probably not gonna get a lot of sleep either because I need to get back on a 5 a.m. wake up schedule and um yeah okay <laughs> hope that you have a lovely day wherever you're at I've gotta go